have I been going here? Probably 40 years, maybe. Probably every year for the last 20. I love coming out here. I love the solitude. It makes you feel kind of small. And whenever life gets to me, gets too stressful, I think of this place. The hunters annoy the heck out of me, but it's their right to come out here too, I guess. Just a little disconcerting. I usually like to come out before hunting season starts, but um, just been coming out here for a lot of years and means a lot to me. Best I can remember is probably six or eight years old. We'd go over with Dad and some of his friends, and we'd try to fish for crappie and catfish. And we just went over there in the spring and summer a few times, and it was a good place to go. Warm, yes. and we didn't go as much in the summertime, but I'd say three or four times a year. I mean, it was kind of a ritual there. We it was get fired up in the spring and want to go there, and then we'd join in. Over there, good place to walk and camp and hang out. Yeah, mostly fish in those days. We got into hunting a little bit too, but it, private land and access is kind of a problem a lot of times, even those days. And yeah, but we just you could always fish. It was kind of managed by the fish and game department then, and it was a crappie fishing hotspot in the 70s and 80s. People would come from a long ways to throw a cooler full of crappie slabs. Yeah, it was an awful fun place. And I think the drought and some water quality problems and stuff like that affected the fishing a little bit. And it's still a few in there. We always come out here and it seems like when I would come with my brother, we'd always have to get somebody in stuck. Uh, pretty stupid there, yeah. And of course they have the four wheel drive so they can go through anything. And that mud is, it's just bottomless. It's dang near like quicksand in places there. And it doesn't look that bad. And they're driving along, get just a little too close. And then ding dongs come out here and get their trucks too close to the mud. And every time we'd have to dig them out. Wow. <laughs> this is a topper. We were uh, leaving. We were oh, we were out here, and we saw this plane flying over. And man, that thing's really low. And it came and we landed here. And this used to all be water when I was younger. Since the drought, it's dried up. It's never been the same. But uh, he landed his plane out here. We're like, what an idiot! What an idiot! So we go and. We're getting ready to leave, and we come out, and they wave flag us down, and they got their plane stuck. <laughs> I had to turn him around and uh, get him loose. Got him pushed out. He barely got out of there, too. There, he just missed the rocks at the far end. And then he had a passenger, and we had to give the passenger a ride home because he was too heavy, and they didn't know if they would be able to take off. Yeah, that's the topper. That was uh, that was it. It reminds me a lot of my childhood. I have a lot of good memories out here, and uh, 
when life's problems get so big you think they're overwhelming, come out here and they aren't as bad anymore. Well, for me, it's just one of those type of places that grows on you. All the memories there, you relive every time you go out there, the good, had all the good times you've had, and you know you're gonna have more. It just has positive energy, you get there and you get out there and it's so quiet and you zen out and then before you know it, the, you escaped all of your problems or any white noise you've had in the back of your brain there and you concentrate on what you're doing or what you're enjoying. And, Keep going back. <laughs>